The website is dripinvestor.com, dripinvestor.com. You can go right there, click there. They'll send you a sample copy of the newsletter, but they'll send you a list of all these companies that have direct purchase programs, okay? So it's real easy to do. And, uh, you know, you don't know credit card involved or anything like that. And uh, Chuck's a great guy. He's written some great books over the years. Uh, my favorite is one that he did a couple years ago called, called The Little Book of Big Dividends. And it's a marvelous book and it ties in with the whole thing we're doing there. So, uh, so you can get that. And uh, yeah, there are, I mean, there are so many companies out there, as I say, about 400 companies that have uh, many companies will let you do this, but you have to be an existing shareholder of the company. With, a, with these no-load stocks, as he calls them, these are companies where you can make your first purchase through a, through a direct purchase program, uh, like we did with San, San Diego Gas and Electric, Semper Energy, as it's called now. Uh, but these are, these are you know, really great companies. And uh, um, let me just explain a little bit about these direct purchase programs. Why would a company have a direct purchase program? Now, understand this first and foremost. The company does not keep one cent of this money. You send them money to buy their stock, they pool it together with everybody else's money that comes in that day, and they buy it through the stock market, just like if you went to Merrill Lynch or anybody else. They don't keep one penny of it, okay? So it's not a money maker for them. There's, there's, there's nothing in there. As a matter of fact, it probably costs them money because these programs, these direct purchase programs have fees, uh, very, very small fees. Most of them do. Some of them don't have any fees at all. But, but there's no financial benefit to a company to have a direct purchase program. So why would they do it? No, again, they don't get any, they don't, they don't see a, a cent of it, not at all. It, yeah. Bingo, there we go, exactly right. If you own the company, you're gonna buy their product, okay? Um, probably one of the greatest direct purchase programs out there is Coca-Cola, okay? Um, they've increased their dividend, by the way, some 51 years in a row. It's Warren Buffett's largest investment. I'll tell you more about that in a second. But if you, if you go out and you buy Coca-Cola stock through a direct purchase program, you scrape together 250 bucks or whatever their minimum is, and you go buy Coca-Cola stock, okay? And uh, you're going to have some parties uh, come over and watch the basketball games uh, this weekend. And uh, so you got to go get some refreshments and you're going down the aisle and you get to the soft drink area and they've got uh, buy a case of Pepsi, get one free uh, Coca-Cola. It's going to cost you a lot of money. Uh, which one are you going to put in your shopping cart? <laughs> you're not going to put Pepsi in your shopping cart. No way in the world you're going to do that. You're going to put Coke in there because you own the damn company. Okay. And that's what these, that's the whole idea. Brand loyalty. Brand loyalty is what these programs are all about. And it's, it works. It works big time. So that's a, uh, that's uh, a good one there. And let me tell you a quick story about Coca-Cola and Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett is the largest shareholder in Coca-Cola, owns about 10% of the company. He has been investing in Coca-Cola forever. For 40, 50 years, he's been investing in Coca-Cola. And um, in his letter to shareholders a couple of years ago, he said, and, and I, I don't know the exact number, it sticks in my mind that over the years he's invested about $600 million in Coca-Cola. Today it's probably worth about eight or nine billion dollars, something like that. You know, it's just, it's been a great stock, okay? Uh, but he said by the year 2015, which would be this year, obviously, he said by the year 2015, we will get paid a dividend equal to the amount of money we've invested in the company. He's going to get a dividend check this year for $600 million. Did Buffett do anything that was Whoa, how did he ever think up such a great investment like that? He bought a great company with the intent to own it forever and to reinvest the dividends and just let it do its thing. He did nothing that any of, it, uh, any of us in this room couldn't do. Simple as that. And so you learn from guys like that. You, and you know, next year, he'll get paid a dividend worth about $610 billion million because it'll raise its dividend again, as they do. They raise it about 10% every year. And uh, it's, it's just really a, a really wonderful, great way to go.